A reading from the Book of Numbers. Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses on the pretext of the marriage he had contracted with a Cushite woman. They complained, Is it through Moses alone that the Lord speaks? Does he not speak through us also? And the Lord heard this. Now Moses himself was by far the meekest man on the face of the earth. So at once the Lord said to Moses and Aaron and Miriam, Come out, you three, to the meeting tent. And the three of them went. Then the Lord came down in a column of cloud, and standing at the entrance of the tent, called Aaron and Miriam. When both came forward, he said, Now listen to the words of the Lord. Should there be a prophet among you, in visions will I reveal myself to him, in dreams will I speak to him. Not so with my servant Moses. Throughout my house he bears my trust. Face to face I speak to him, plainly, not in riddles. The presence of the Lord he beholds. Why then did you not fear to speak against my servant Moses? So angry was the Lord against them that when he departed and the cloud withdrew from the tent, there was Miriam as no white leper. When Aaron turned and saw her a leper, he said to Moses, Ah, my Lord, please do not charge us with a sin that we have foolishly committed. Let her not thus be like the stillborn babe that comes forth from its mother's womb with its flesh half consumed. Then Moses cried to the Lord, Please, not this. Pray, heal her. Responsorial Psalm Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned that you may be justified in your sentence, vindicated when you condemn. Indeed, in guilt was I born, and in sin my mother conceived to me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me off from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. 
And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand, and caught him, and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Gennesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about, and brought unto him all that were diseased, and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. When we absorb with our own world, with ourselves, with our families, with the situations in life that we are in, we fail to see the world outside our own world. Sometimes, being soaked up by our own life experiences, especially when they are full of problems, we tend to take others for granted. We can't see the real world as it is. Instead, we hallucinate and we fail to sympathize others. In today's Gospel, the Apostles, filled with themselves and absorbed by their own world, saw Jesus walking on the water as a ghost, and so they became terrified of him. But Jesus calmed them down by saying, Don't be afraid, it is I. But Peter's lack of faith prevailed. He wanted to test the Lord by saying, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you in the water. This is quite absurd. How can we test the Lord for His actions in our lives? If this is it, we cannot be different from the Pharisees who always tested Jesus. Yet, this is really our attitude. We lack faith, and so therefore, we question God. Are you really with me? Are you really with us? Sometimes in our prayers, we gamble with God just to be sure that He is active in our lives. Let us reflect. How often do we lack faith in God? When that time has come, what is our prayer to God? Let us pray. O Lord, Father Almighty, I pray for help to strengthen my faith in you. I believe, but I don't always believe in your power and might. I don't always believe that in you all things are possible. I don't always place my trust in you, instead trying to fix everything on my own. I don't always turn to you at first, instead turning to the world for answers and help. I have doubts about your role in the world history, in the world today. I struggle to relate the scriptures to my own life. Lord, I believe, but help with my unbelief. 
help my head and my heart and my soul to believe in you and trust in you fully without a doubt knowing that in you all things are possible lord strengthen my faith amen